were very, very pleased with the progress of the bank regionally. Um, we have also now extended the franchise further. We have gone into Africa. As you would have heard, we bought 40% of a bank in Africa. It's a bank called HFC Bank, which also started, like Barbados National Bank, as a mortgage lending institution. Um, why there was interest in Republic Bank is that when Republic Bank partnering with them, uh, why we had interest in partnering with a bank all the way across the Atlantic in, in Ghana, is that over time, uh, because Trinidad is an oil and gas economy, we have learned how to do banking in an oil and gas driven emerging market. Uh, oil and gas, uh, they were discovered offshore Ghana and they've been producing for the past three years. So Ghana is going to develop, it is going to emerge as an oil and gas economy. So what we've basically done or what we are doing is transferring our intellectual capital around how you do banking in an emerging oil and gas market into, uh, into Ghana, Africa. Their interest in us uh, was, of course, uh, they wanted to expand from being a mortgage lending institution into a full-blown retail commercial bank. And when they looked at uh, Republic Bank's performance, uh, in the region, they were satisfied that we could form good partners. The other aspect of it, of course, is that what we have learned over time is that once you are going, once you're expanding by acquisition, uh, some other things become very important. Language, legislative background, those are two critical things. And with Ghana having formerly been a, a British colony, we find that they speak English and the legislative systems are the same. So they're there were obvious, uh, there were commonalities in the, in, in the two jurisdictions that allowed us to, to go forward with the, the investment decision. People in business uh, oftentimes don't have an understanding of what it takes to be able to properly access bank finance. So the other part, the, the other very important part of this program is to help you acquire that understanding of how you interface with us. For us, of course, it is also very important in the, to the extent that you or we have a comfort level with your understanding of what is needed in terms of the management of the business, the, the strategic planning for the business, we get a comfort level because don't forget, if I were to give you an example of us providing working capital financing, overdraft facilities or revolving lines of credit, once we put overdraft financing or, or, or revolving credit into your working capital cycle, we become a partner of yours almost for the life of the business. Because once working capital goes in, it then goes into inventory, it gets converted into accounts receivable, the accounts receivable uh, get converted into cash, and that cash comes back around to pay suppliers and keep the overdraft facility revolving. So in fact, it becomes almost a permanent line of credit, an evergreen facility as, as some people call it. But to the extent that it is evergreen, it stays inside of your business. It means that we are a part of your business for the extent of the life of that overdraft facility. And that is why it is so important for us to be, to, to, to be comfortable and satisfied that in the operation of your business, you are employing up-to-date, well-informed uh, business techniques because to the extent that you are doing that, the business remains healthy and our credit injection into the business also remains healthy. To the extent that a business is not properly managed because proper business techniques are not being applied, you find that the quality of the credit would deteriorate and then we would end up with problems. And I, it, it, it was very interesting to me to learn that it was only in 1940 that the researchers started making an association between job satisfaction and job performance. 1940, so it means that prior to that, there was no research work done on those associations. And we, of course, know today how important job satisfaction is to job performance. So, uh, for example, at the university, what you have 
uh, and this is to underscore my point about continuous continuous learning. You you you, you would see that there's a, a, a cadre of, of research people, and what they do constantly, as I said, is that they look at relationships, they test those relationships, they test variables, and on the basis of their testing and the statistical analysis, they produce journals, which where the journals represent. Uh, the official conveyance of the new knowledge and information. So it is for those reasons that you find that uh, for people, even though you may have your degrees and you have all of your experience, it is absolutely important to continue to participate in programs such as this. It's, it's like what you hear when you sit um, on Caribbean Airlines, you know, when they're doing their uh, safety checks, they tell you, uh, please pay attention, we know many of you travel frequently, so to reinforce what you already know and to assist those, those groups by, please pay attention. So the point about it is, for those of you who would have gone through university and have your degrees in business and so on, uh, this is really to reinforce what you already know and to top up on that.